Hey, this is Lester. Welcome back to another session of Alan Wake. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that Ryder just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's so okay, calm. Alan. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think, couldn't focus. I still have no idea what There were only on. empty sheets of paper here, no manuscript pages. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Nice springs. Xbox 360. Okay. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, 
I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. So I'm crazy. You say I'm crazy, right? So everything is my imagination. What is she trying to do? <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Why is everything wrong? Uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of mm, course, yeah. but mm, yeah. it does involve I'll some small to the creative <laughs> effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. 
I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy's a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like Moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you, too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Night mist shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Okay, they finally so finished. Tired. Mm. Built the farm close to the lake. So let's Bad get back. Dream. You Good thing he's not up. overreacting or anything. Oh, well, it's locked. The doors were gotcha. locked. The Hartman and the nurses would have here, keys, but, but there was no way well to get my hands on I'll them. Do that, Birch. Something's wrong. Hey, I'm not myself. Wait. Why don't you humor Dr. Think. Hartman and give There's the writing a shot, man? Head. I can only focus own. on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. 
I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. You can get to your Hartman room, wanted me to write. Wake. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. It's my store. I'm taking it. We're on a comeback tour, baby! Hammer's way will have its say rise up in their name! Although it says the power is out, but the place looks so bright. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she Tom had it coming. I could get the destiny. key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken Come all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been it's keeping them. The piper. Maybe you could come out and beat our wrinkled adult diapered asses, Bert. Since you're so tough, Bert. We were on the road, man. You think we haven't seen punks like you So is this office? The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. Because I'm at my wit's end. 
Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor...